Hello and welcome to our video tutorial on qualified electronic seals and its use in the EU database IPREL. My name is Annette and I'm working as an account manager at Detrust GmbH in Berlin. Detrust is a subsidiary of German Bundesdruckerei and Detrust is a qualified trust service provider, for example, for qualified electronic seals. As an account manager, I'm always interested in the scenarios where our products show their practical use, and that's why I'm happy to guide you through this video. What is this tutorial about? Manufacturers of electrical products with energy labels and manufacturers of tires must provide their company data in the EU's EPREL database with a qualified electronic seal. In this video, I would like to provide you with the most important information and instructions on this matter. First of all, what does EPRAL stand for? The abbreviation stands for European Product Registry for Energy Labeling and refers to the following procedure. Appliances with energy consumption labels and their suppliers are registered in the EPRAL product database. On this basis, the national market surveillance authorities can check the necessary technical documentation. In addition to that, consumers of these products are given simple public online access to view the energy consumption label. And what does the qualified electronic seal has to do with it? This seal does secure the relevant company data and is successively introduced in the EPREL application. The EPREL database was launched at the beginning of 2019. Since then, suppliers of energy label products have been required to register in the EPREL database if they offer their products on the EU market. In 2022, a regulation was introduced that manufacturers can provide the company data with a qualified seal in order to verify themselves. That means to officially confirm the authenticity of their data. This was initially an optional regulation, but now it is becoming a mandatory regulation. The EU is making the use of the Qualified Electronic Seal mandatory for April. Around 10,000 companies across the EU are affected. You now have to obtain a Qualified Electronic Seal and we would like to support you on this matter to meet the requirements. Article 3 of the corresponding EU Implementing Act from April 2024 refers to the verification of company data and stipulates that only manufacturers who have successively completed the verification process can enter products in the April database or revise entries that have already been met. Verification means that the authenticity of the company data is guaranteed. The Qualified Electronic Seal fulfills precisely this requirement. And this very Article 3 means to the point, if you have not provided your April company data with a Qualified Seal, you can no longer make entries. What exactly is a qualified electronic seal? Fortunately, this product is clearly defined. Another EU regulation, the so-called IDAS regulation, introduced the qualified electronic seal throughout the EU several years ago as an electronic 
Trust Service. What does the qualified electronic seal actually do? When an organization affixes the qualified seal to its data, it ensures the authenticity, integrity, and binding nature of the file content. The seal ensures that the sender cannot be falsified and that its authenticity can be verified. The sealed document cannot be changed unnoticed and without the sender's authorization. And the seal is permanently linked to the file's content, so it cannot be transferred to any other document. In short, the seal guarantees that you know reliably which organization the data originates from and this data is genuine and unaltered. And how is it handled? As an IDIS compliant trust service provider, we offer, among other products, seal cards. They contain the organization's individual electronic certificate on the ship. For the April application, we recommend the DTRUST single seal card. That means you seal a file by using the seal card and entering the PIN code once within the seal application. You can use these seal cards online or offline and they are valid for one, two or three years. Please note, in connection with the EPRAL application, it is important that the stored electronic certificate has a special entry. The so-called organization identifier must contain the official National Trade Register number in accordance with April specifications. On this basis, it is verified that the company is actually based within the EU. How do you obtain such a seal card? The seal card is an individual product. A company must apply for it from a trust service provider such as Data. This process takes place in three steps. Here is an overview. First, the application in our DTRUST online store. Second, identification of the applicant. Third, delivery of the seal card to the customer. Let's take a look at this in detail. First, the application. This is done via our DTRUST online store. An authorized representative of the company, that means a managing director, must submit the seal application. The authorized signatory is important to ensure that the seal can only be ordered with the consent of the company management. As an applicant, you first create a personal account in our online store and then access the seal application by entering the organization's specific data. The shipping and billing address is also entered here. After that, you print out the application, sign it and attach a copy of your ID document and an excerpt from the company's trade register. Finally, send these papers via postal mail to DTRUST. On this slide, we show you the QR code which takes you directly to this order page in our online store. Step two, identification. You as an applicant must identify yourself personally during the ordering process as is required for qualified seal products. The identification options for non-German applicants are as follows. For non-Germans living in Germany, the easiest way to complete this identification is a post-ident procedure. If you own an electronic residence title, you can even use the electronic post-ident procedure. For this, it is necessary that you master the online function of your electronic residence title 
and that you have installed the Post Ident app on your smartphone. Another option is to use the Post Ident service in a branch where you are identified on site with your passport. For non Germans living abroad, that means in the EU, we recommend the Notary Ident service. Go to an official notary of your choice, show your passport and have your identity verified by the notary. Please be aware that additional costs may occur. Once we have received the complete application and identification, we as Detrust produce a seal card and send it to you by registered mail along with the corresponding PIN code. Please keep in mind that you can expect a period of approximately four weeks between application and delivery. To use the card in practice, you need a card reader and software. A few remarks on this additional equipment as well. For card readers, we recommend products from Reina City. Sealing software, which is identical to signature software, is available from the manufacturers mentioned here. If you want to seal directly from Adobe Acrobat Reader, you do not need any of the software products mentioned, but you need middleware to integrate the qualified seal in Adobe. We recommend the products from CryptoVision or Nexus for this purpose. Once you have all the components, you can start sealing. You insert the seal card into the reader. Then open the PDF file to be sealed either in your signature software or in the Adobe Reader and click on the Sign button or Seal button. In the next step, you will be asked to enter the corresponding PIN for the seal card and your file is sealed and thus protected in its authenticity and integrity. You can check easily the result in Adobe Reader. It automatically recognizes a file sealed and checks the seal for validity. The validation report then shows the details. In other words, the green sign is proof that everything is correct, as well as the name of the sealing company, in this case Detrast GmbH, and the classification as a qualified electronic seal. And now, back to the EPRAL application and the practical use of the qualified seal. I briefly explained earlier that the electronic seal certificate on the card contains an organization identifier and that this identifier contains the official National Trade Register number. The EPRAL application requires this identifier to be read from the certificate. We provide instructions for this, which we deliver to you together with the card and the components for commissioning. You must then enter this organization identifier and the corresponding EPRAL mask, which looks like the screenshot shown here on the right. Finally, here are the step-by-step -step instructions on how to seal your company data within EPRAL. On the EPRAL website, request the PDF file for organization verification. Download it at your workstation in the next step. Seal this PDF file with your seal card, the corresponding PIN code, the card reader and the software. You then upload the sealed file back to the platform. And as a result, you will receive full verification in the portal, meaning that you are now a verified company by April and have fulfilled all the requirements. You see, it's not difficult at all. I hope our short video has helped you 
to understand the April database and the qualified electronic seal. And of course, I would be happy to welcome you as a customer of Detrust Seal Cards. Please keep in mind the deadline November 2024. To this deadline, you have to be seal ready. If you have any further questions, please feel free to send us an email. And now, thank you very much for your attention and goodbye. Thank you.